Let's take a look at this dog and bone board game. It costs around uh, 499 rupees or around uh, 9 dollars or so. You get instructions in uh, several Indian languages and uh, this is how the board looks and these are the game pieces. You get four colored dogs and uh, four colored bones. Up to four people can uh, play it. This is how you first set it up. You place the dog on your side and you place your bone on the opposite side. The aim of the game is to get to the bone before your uh, opponent. That's why it's called a uh, dog and bone. You also get 16 of these fences which are equally divided between both the players. The first player moves the piece. He can either uh, move his dog in any of these directions one block at a time or he can place the fence anywhere on the board. This has to occupy two blocks like that. You can also put the fence this way. Once you place it, you cannot move it. When you place the block, the dog cannot jump over it. He has to go around it. You cannot place fences all around the dog. You have to give him at least one way to go. Now you have to decide whether you want to place a fence or uh, move your own dog. When two dogs come face to face, they can jump over each other. Once your opponent reaches here, he wins it. Once you reach the first block closest to your bone, you win the game. It's a really fun game and uh, has a lot of strategy in it. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Hawkins pressure cooker. This is the latest model. That's how the cooker looks. It has detailed info on all the pieces and more details about the Hawkins story. This is a 5 liter pressure cooker. It's a Hawkins toy cooker. Costs around 170 rupees or around 3 dollars or so. Marketed by Hawkins Cooker Limited. Made by Viraj Engineering in a Mumbai, India. This non-working miniature is not to be put on plane or a hot plate. Children under 4 years should not handle it without a supervision. So let's see what we get. That's how it looks. Really nice miniature. really well made it looks just like the real thing everything in place quite a cute looking model quite nice check it out it was displayed like this in the store and i thought uh, maybe it's meant for a uh, cooking 
may be able to cook some herbs in it. Let's take a look at this balancing pizza again. It's by Sunway. You get a chef carrying a pizza and you have to balance the toppings on it. This costs around 570 rupees or around $9 or so. You get a dice like this which you need to roll and uh, when it lands you need to place that piece on top of the pizza. That's pepperoni, that's a piece of cheese, that's a tomato slice and when you land on this you can choose which piece you want to put but only one piece and when you land on the chef you can uh, skip it on. You cannot hold the pizza while putting the toppings on. The pizza is really unstable and that's how the pizza slow. That's the mushroom. You get about uh, five to six of each. So let's place them. That's the pepperoni. That's the tomato slice. That's the cheese. And you keep putting on stuff until it falls down. Really fun game. You can balance quite a bit of stuff, but uh, it's really delicate. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Nintendo Switch game. It's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This costs around uh, 4,500 rupees or around uh, 70 dollars or so. I don't think Nintendo ever launched a console officially in India. So all of them are uh, imports. So very pricey. I've been hearing really good things about this game. Those are the screenshots from the game. It's made in Japan. So let's see what we get. Nice hard work. That's the memory card. This is how the game looks. This is not a review of the game. Looks, the game looks really beautiful. I thought I would never say that about a Nintendo game. And plays really well too. You can carry quite a lot of stuff and uh, customize it too. It's also a really big game. Let's see, there is uh, quite a lot to explore. I have only played a little bit of it, but I'm already blown away by the gameplay and uh, graphics. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this puzzle brain teaser. It's by Chalk and Chuckles. It's a 40 piece puzzle. You also get a dice with this puzzle. Really nice looking packaging. A real brain teaser. You will never get bored. That's how the puzzle looks once it's completed. And uh, once it's completed, you can play the brain teaser game, assemble the puzzle to reveal an isometric drawing, 
roll the shape die to tell you which shape you must count. It's made in India. Costs around 199 rupees. That's how the puzzle pieces look. They are made out of paper. That's how the dice look. Once you complete the puzzle, you are supposed to roll this and uh, count the shape on the puzzle. They have uh, quite a few other games. That's how the puzzle looks once it's completed. Now you can uh, do this and uh, count the shapes. You are supposed to count uh, how many of the shapes there are. It's really tough because of these colors. These are the shapes. It's an interesting idea for a puzzle. It would have been even nice if they gave you some kind of board game. Still quite a clever idea. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this interesting looking cake. This costs around uh, 60 rupees or around a dollar. Looks like we have a raspberry on top with some uh, chocolate on the side and some nice icing. So let's taste it. It's a squishy that looks like a cake. You get a smaller chain so you can use this as a charm. Looks pretty realistic. These three are uh, quite hard. But the uh, rest of it is uh, quite squishy and it's fun to keep doing it. These uh, red pieces seem to be falling off but uh, other than that it's really good. And uh, it's quite fun to do this. I also got a donut. Looks like this is matcha donut. Pretty realistic looking. It smells really good too. This costs around uh, 120 rupees or uh, 2 dollars or so. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this cube dough. It's fishing fun. 
costs around 79 rupees or around a dollar and 50 cents it's by colorland you get two molds one fishing rod a few colors of dough This is what you get. That's the fishing rod. That's how the fish looks, really nice model. This is not that good compared to the other one. Now you can catch fish with it. Quite a fun set. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, Hot Wheels character cars. This is Super Mario themed. There are six of them. Each of these costs around uh, 349 rupees or around uh, $7 or so. It's three times pricier than the regular Hot Wheels car. Really nice packaging. These are some of the other ones. It's manufactured in a Thailand by Mattel. So let's see how it looks. That's how the car looks. It wears the Mario hat, his mustache. Nicely detailed. Really cute looking model. Mario usually needs his princess. This is the princess peach car. Price similarly. Beautiful packaging. That's how 
That's how it looks. Nice pink car with a gold seats and a interior. It looks really nice. We can't have a story without a villain. This is the Bowser Mario car. Gonna similarly priced. It's a SUV and uh, it's really detailed. I think the Bowser one looks really good, quite nice. Check it out.